Hello and good afternoon. My name is Dr. David Corsio and I am the medical director here at Mark Medical. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine and cardiology and we're here to talk to you today about COVID-19 evaluation and testing. The first I'd like to discuss is antibody testing. The second I'd like to discuss is antigen testing. And the third I'd like to talk about is molecular testing. So antibody testing for COVID-19 is not for the diagnosis of an acute infection. What antibody testing will tell you is what your body's response to the virus is. If you've had the virus, then your body will mount an immune response. And that is what antibody testing is going to tell you. So it really tells you uh, if you've had a prior exposure and been infected and perhaps had no symptoms, because there's plenty of people who don't have any symptoms with their COVID-19 uh, illness. Now, the second thing I'd like to talk about is the antigen testing. Now, antigen testing is used as a diagnostic test to determine if the person is actively infected with COVID-19. When someone says antigen, think protein. So an antigen is a protein on the virus. What we do is take a swab of the nose that collects that little antigen particle or a bunch of the little antigen particles, put it into a reaction vessel, and then, and then send it into the uh, testing chamber where it can um, determine if the antigen is present. So there's essentially antibodies within the antigen testing that light up when they connect with the antigen and that tells you if the infection is present. The problem with antigen testing is it is not very sensitive and what I mean by that is that there are false negatives. So you can test for with antigen testing and it can be negative but you can still have the infection. The antigen testing false negative rate can run as high as 25%. Um, and sometimes you have to send out a second test uh, to confirm either a negative or positive. Now, on the flip side, uh, the antigen test is very specific, which means a positive test almost certainly means you were positive. Uh, but a negative test can indeed leave some doubt. Uh, the third test, which is the best test to have done, uh, is the uh, molecular test. Now, a molecular test can be done uh, rapidly within 30 minutes, um, usually same day results, or it can be sent to a laboratory to be done where the results can take anywhere from three to seven to up to 10 days we've seen during the pandemic. Uh, what's nice about the molecular test is it's the most accurate and FDA uh, approved uh, as the first line test for diagnosing COVID-19. The way a molecular test works is it, it again swabs the nose, and this time we're looking for genetic material, specifically the RNA from the virus. We take that RNA, again, it's put into a reaction vessel and it's allowed to react with certain reagents that actually amplify or create more copies of this little piece of RNA. That in turn signals to the, uh, on the test that that RNA is present, allowing you to make an accurate diagnosis of COVID-19. Another important aspect of testing is not just who you test, but when you test. If you don't test at the right time, you're going to get a false result. So specifically, if you test too early, you're going to get a false negative result because the virus hasn't had time to get inside the person and become an active infection. So when it comes to when I test or when I recommend testing, any patient who's symptomatic, so if you say I have a sore throat, a fever, body aches, a dry hacking cough, you should be tested right away because your symptoms are consistent with COVID-19. So what if you were exposed to COVID-19? Well, the first thing is to understand what an exposure is. An exposure needs to be close contact, which means less than six feet for more than 15 minutes. If you've had that type of exposure, the CDC would recommend that you go home and you isolate yourself for 14 days and you don't come out. Now, most people cannot isolate themselves for 14 days and not work during that time. So what we recommend is that you test yourself, you isolate for seven days and you test yourself 
with a rapid point of care test at that point because you'll get a result that same day and you'll know whether you were infected from your exposure risk. If you really wanted to be thorough about tech checking yourself for uh, acquiring the uh, infection, then you could test yourself at 14 days with the antibody test. So at seven days you'd know, did I catch this virus from the person I was exposed to? And then at 14 days you would know if you did indeed get it but didn't have any symptoms. Now, if you followed the CDC recommendations or if you did a send out test, uh, you could be still in isolation another three to seven days. That's why we recommend doing a point of care at seven days so you can get your, at, your, your answer as to whether or not you're infected and get back into the uh, public life. After the nasal swab has been collected and the sample is allowed to react in the specimen collection vessel, it's, it's placed in its own separate cartridge. The specimen is uh, placed here on the top and then it's allowed to go into the uh, uh, processing cartridge. So every test has its own uh, cartridge for evaluation. There's no cross-contamination with any other test. In closing, I really just want to emphasize everything that I've been saying, we've all been saying from the very beginning, which is physical distancing, washing your hands, avoiding crowds greater than 10 people, and wearing a cloth face covering when you're out in public and cannot socially distance, all still apply and will be the single greatest things we do to help prevent the transmission of this infection to others. Um, it has been our goal from the very beginning to be here for you, your families, uh, to keep you all safe and up to date with all the latest medical information we can provide. It is our goal to provide uh, the best medical care in the shortest time possible. And always remember, uh, our passion is your wellness.